Hi, my name is Matt Goto. I'm one of the Star CC Plus product managers. Uh, I work at Siemens. With me today is Jan Renninghaus. He is actually the lead developer for our VR project, and he's actually going to be demonstrating uh, some of the capabilities of what we've got in this prototype today. One of the exciting things that uh, this technology can offer is the ability to interrogate models and data sets and to be able to explore. Just the nature of how this work really invites curiosity. And the payoff is when someone is in this uh, environment looking at this model and they find something that they didn't know was there. For example, they might find a hot spot under hood that might be a fire risk that they never knew existed and that they were able to discover with this technology. Where this broadens the experience is in being able to look inside a model, to actually be able to touch it, if you will, in a virtual environment and to be able to interact with it in a very tactile way. All right, let's see this prototype in action. So this first data set that we're gonna look at actually comes to us the university, uh, courtesy of the Technical University of Munich, the aerodynamics department. It's the drive air case. And what we're seeing our uh, demonstrator, Jan, here doing is he's actually seeding particles inside the door handle of this uh, automobile. So I don't know if you imagine watching recirculating flow in a door handle but we're able to work at, with a model of this fidelity to be able to capture this level of detail right inside that door handle. And you can see that as he's adding particles right with the wand from the, the VR control, you can see how we've re really nicely recaptured that flow structure inside that, that uh, part of the car. Now the next thing he's gonna do is something really cool. And this is something that you just could not do on your desktop. He's gonna fly through this wheel and he's going to go right inside and under the hood into the engine where we can release particles under hood. We can see where they go as we navigate our way, which is really, really something that you just cannot do with a, a standard display. So j this alone really illustrates the power of being able to use a VR um, capability to look at these results. This next data set is really cool. It's a fire simulation inside a train station. And it comes to us courtesy of Erwin Schnell from HB Hector. And what we're going to see is an aerial view of this train station. With this fire, one of the questions we want to answer is, given the amount of smoke in the tunnel, would people down there be able to actually see the exit signs? And we can see from this view that there's a lot of smoke in this tunnel. And you really can't see to the end of that tunnel. With the particle wand again, and we can release particles inside this tunnel, and we can actually see how effective the fans are uh, as far as being able to, to manage the smoke and clear things, right? So it gives us a really exceptional view of the topology of this data set and what's actually happening. In this car that we're looking at right now, this is actually where the fire is happening, and obviously there's no smoke where the fire is burning. Um, but what we can see inside this is how we've got a lot of strong recirculation due to the thermal effects uh, from the fire that's happening in that uh, car. So it's yet another uh, use case for virtual reality where we really could not get a sense of the scale and the scope of this kind of uh, simulation without this kind of technology. This virtual reality prototype got its rollout here at the Star Global Conference in Berlin this week. This is going to be available on your desktops as a fully integrated part of Star CCM Plus, available in about a year. For more information and updates, uh, come look for Star CCM Plus on the Siemens PLM webpage.